let's take a look at how to stop MSI Mystic Light from hijacking Corsair RGB lighting. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Corsair IQ software. This is the home screen. And we can see we have some Vengeance DDR5 that is detecting, and we have a K70 RGB MK.2 keyboard. And that keyboard has lighting being hijacked by the MSI Mystic Light. So we're just gonna come up here, go to the IQ settings. We're gonna come down to software and games. We will see ledkeeper2.exe, shared access. We're going to select block, click that little circle with the line through it. And that's gonna put it down into the blocked clients. And that's it. Now you should regain access to your RGB lighting on your Corsair keyboard that will be controlled separately by the Corsair IQ software and not by the MSI Mystic Light. In Corsair IQ, on certain keyboards, you can do per key lighting. You can do stuff in here that you can't do with MSI Mystic Light. So if I want to go through and I want to change the colors of just certain keys, I can do that. So here we have the alphabet in a green light color, some of the functionary keys in a pink looking color, and the numerical keys in a purple color, keypad in orange flanked by a white lighting on the operational keys and you can't really do that i don't think in mystic lighting if you want to be able to keep that per key lighting that you can achieve in the corsair iq software this is how you can do it just go to the corsair iq go to settings corsair already did most of the work for us so we can just go down to software and games look for that led keeper 2 and block it you'll still be able to maintain mystic lighting on your RGB headers for your MSI motherboard, but it won't take control of other Corsair peripherals like your Corsair keyboard or your Corsair mouse, things like that. So hopefully this helps regain control of the lighting on your keyboard on your system. As well.